Welcome to Temple Builders Carpentry. Temple Builders. We problem solvers. Temple Builders Safety First. Okay, Temple Builders, today we're talking about your sheer walls, okay? Now, sheer walls are panel sheathed walls designed to withstand severe seismic activity or high wind loads, okay? So, basically, when you're building a wall, interior, exterior wall, and you can push on the side, on the side of it, okay? That can push it out of shape. Okay, if it was a rectangle shape, you can push it into a parallelogram, right? Okay, so once you put your sheathing on that, depending on the spacing of your nail or your nailing pattern, okay, that's giving you resistance to that shear load. Okay, I'm going to keep on. Now, shear walls are interior and exterior load-bearing or non-load-bearing walls that are designed to meet the design load requirements. Shear walls are required by building code in many areas of the country, including areas subject to strong seismic activity, such as the West Coast and areas subject to excessive wind loads caused by hurricanes and tornadoes, such as the East Coast and Southern states. As you look at my uh, whiteboard right here and look at my model, you can see we got this lateral or sideways shear load basically coming in at a right angle. These are different type of forces that are applied to a home if you're dealing with, uh, like what we just talked about, uh, hurricanes, tornadoes, earthquakes. Once the shear load is applied to the side, you get this upward lift or upward force, okay, causing a downward force on this side. Now, uh, however, uh, according to how we built this structure, you'll have your resistance to your shear load. The floors, roof, walls, and foundation of sheer walls are tied together using specialized fasteners and anchors to provide the building with greater shear load and uplift resistance. Shear loads is the lateral pressure against a wall. That's what we see right here, this lateral pressure. Okay, that's against our wall right there. Two major contributing factors of shear load are high winds, such as winds generated in hurricanes and seismic forces. Okay, so we got high winds and we got seismic forces. Now, uplift occurs at the side of the lateral force, right here. You see right there? And is generally caused by forces generated during earthquakes. A downward force occurs at the opposite end of the wall experiencing uplift. Here's our downward force, okay? So, the lateral, the, the lateral direction of the shear load against the wall may cause uplift at the bottom of the wall, uh, resulting in a downward force at the opposite end of the wall, okay? So, like we just talked about, uh, you use these shear walls for added security, in uh, particular locations, West Coast, okay, East Coast, Southern states. Now I wanna talk about these hold down scraps. You see right there? So this is our seal plate. Okay, we got some OSB right here. This is a joist. And you see this hold down scrap? Okay, now special anchors are required to secure seal plates of a shear wall system. Some anchors are embedded in the concrete as it is being placed in the forms or CMUs. You know, CMUs are concrete masonry units, okay? And other anchors are bolted to the foundation. So if we look right here, we got a hold down strap that's embedded into our foundation, into our concrete. You see right here? And you see how it's securing down or it's nailed down to our seal plate right there. And then on this one, our hold down scrap is uh, bolted to our foundation. Okay, now there's different types of hold down scraps. I don't have each one of them drawn or illustrated on this whiteboard. Now let's look at this drawing right here. So what we have right here in a one story anchor tie down system, it's called a tie down system, okay? A long threaded rod extends from the top double plates and it was coupled with an anchor bolt embedded in the concrete. So this is our tie-down rod. 
right here at the top, our bearing plate. We got a little bearing plate right here with our nut. We got a double, our double top plate right here. Now, our space right here, I think I drew this too wide, okay? But I wanted you to see it had a gap right here. But this should be, this space, the, the distance between these two studs should be three and a half inches max, okay? We got our studs. We got a threaded rod. We got a transition coupler, okay? Bottom plate. And we got our anchor bolt embedded in our concrete. So you should understand what a shear wall is now, okay? You got to do with your added security, dealing with uh, whatever type of natural disasters you, you, you encounter in your area, right? Hurricanes, tornadoes, earthquakes. I think this is definitely uh, great added protection, and it's to code, all right? So if you like this, uh, information, hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you want to contribute to Temple Builders, the cash app is in the description box, okay? Become my apprentice, Temple Builders.